How Tigers Got Stripes by Dhruv Upalash Short Stories for Kids Today we have a book named How Tigers Got Stripes by Dhruv Apala, Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty, I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it, and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Chapter 1 My name is Danny and I am a tiger. We tigers have orange fur and no stripe. The zebras tease me because I have no stripes and they do. That's not fair, but today I am going to change that. My mommy tiger said that there is a quest that only tigers with much bravery can accomplish. The quest says that only tigers of age can do it. By of age, it means that you have to be 16. Well, I am 16, and if I finish the quest, I will be granted a wish. Chapter 2 So I voyage to the forest to get started. The first challenge is to defeat a lion. I know that tigers are stronger than lions, but still... I'm gonna have to battle a lion, I guess. Then a lion just pops out and growls at me. That must be the world record of bad timing. So I just battle. He pounces on me and bites me on my arm. That makes me on my arm. That makes me mad. I get right back up and slap the lion on its face. Chapter 3 The second challenge says that I need to climb the tallest mountain in the forest. Man. There are pretty high mountains here. The tallest mountain I know of is Falcon's Eye. Did you know that tigers are great climbers? I climb half of Falcon's Eye, but it suddenly gets so cold. I see a human making a fire, so I wait until she leaves. After she does, I warm up and climb the rest of the way. Hey, get that tiger and kill it, the humans say. I get scared. So I climb so fast that I think I'm going to break every single bone in my body. I finally reach the top. Chapter 4 It is so windy at the top. I can't get up. I'm flat on the ground. The last challenge states that I have to fight humans. I mean, I have fought lions, but humans. Man. Though I climb halfway down the mountain and meet the human. Well, hello, little kitty, the humans say. I growl at her, but she just laughs. She laughs. That human makes my blood boil, I roar at her. I have done it. Then the humans start shouting my name. Danny, Danny, wake up. It is my mom. I realize that it is all a dream. When I go to the zebras, I wait to be humiliated. But to my surprise, they say, cool stripes. The end. Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.